Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Have you ever been wanting to improve portraits by blurring the background and getting that pleasing bokeh effect? It's actually pretty easy to do with the powerful tools of Affinity Photo for the iPad. In this video, I'll be showing you how to blur the background with precise selections so we can make this portrait of Rusty the dog really pop. But before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel by clicking on that red bell below. So let's get right into it. So the first step is to make the selections. Tap the selections persona to reveal the selection toolset. Next, let's tap the selection brush tool to allow you to select the region of the image by painting. By simply dragging on your image, you can add or remove regions from a selection. Begin painting over Rusty. Don't worry if the selections are not perfect for now. The Add option adds areas to the current selection, while the Subtract option removes areas from the current selection. Let's refine the selection. Once selection has been created, you can refine its edges to ensure your selection is as accurate as needed. Set the option to Matte. It will reanalyze the selection and attempt to separate the foreground detail from the background. It's great for selecting hair at the edges of photos. Tap Apply when done. Next, let's invert the selection to target the background. Tap the Commands button. Tap Invert Selection. Next, let's blur the image. So let's tap Filters and select the Gaussian Blur. Notice that the Live Filter switch is set to on. You can increase the blur by dragging over the radius. Next, let's view the layers. Tap Layer Studio. Notice because we had live filter selected, the blur adjustment is non-destructive and the layer is attached to it. You can paint over this layer to correct any mistakes. So that's just what we're going to do. Tap the Paint Brush tool. Then let's set the color to white. So let's paint white over the mistake areas we wanted to blur but missed. To do the opposite, which is remove the unintentionally blurred areas, we have to paint black over those areas. So let's set the color to black and begin painting. So after a few more tone and color adjustments, this is the before and the after. So I hope you could see using Affinity Photo to blur an image is really easy. So do you use other photo editing tools on the iPad? Share them with us in the comment section below. And please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Till the next one, bye!